I'm Abby Broyles, the food writer for the Austin American Statesman. And I'm Pam LeBlanc, the fitness writer at the Statesman. After I wrote a story about mindful eating earlier this year, Pam and I got to talking about how to have a healthy attitude about both food and fitness. It's funny, readers always think I eat like a rabbit, but that's not true at all. I love good food. And I love leading an active lifestyle so I can enjoy food without so much guilt. So what better way to explore the subject of guilt-free eating and dread-free exercise than grilling up some yummy homemade bison burgers? And Pam showed me how to saute seasonal vegetables and nothing more than vegetable broth. Do you think in the fitness community at large there is this restrictive diet mentality or are more people embracing the eat what you love, love what you eat, work out how you love, and love living an active life kind of attitude? There are a lot of people that are really serious about what they eat and measure out, you know, every protein oh versus carbohydrate, yeah, yeah. you know, but I just, it takes up that a wears me out. Power. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that wears me out. And I guess in my head, I sort of think about this balance of um, exercise versus food intake. And it's not like I'm counting anything out, but if I decide, yeah, I'm going to go crazy and go eat a mountain of ice cream or something, then I might, I don't know. Do a couple extra laps. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. But you not know, out of guilt necessarily. No, just no. The balance. Yeah. Yeah. Makes me feel better. Yeah, we've been talking a lot about balance. And it's hard to quantify this internal measurement of... I've eaten too much, or I haven't eaten too much, or, you know, today I was having lunch with a friend, and we were having this lovely lunch, and we were visiting and, and having a good time, and, and I was full. Right. I, you know, I was kind of wrapped up in the conversation and didn't really, hadn't really realized how much I had or hadn't eaten. She was eating and eating and getting more seconds, and, you know, and I was like, you are full. Right. And just because somebody else is eating and you're eating with them doesn't right. mean you have to keep eating. And right. I knew we were going to be cooking and eating kind of an early dinner, and so... Yeah. It took a lot of willpower not to keep eating because yeah. it was delicious. Right. Um, but I feel yeah. like it's those little successes that help keep me on track. Yeah, if you just pay attention to how your body feels. Uh, okay, so I have made, we're making bison burgers, but because uh, bison is really low in fat, and I mean, not that necessarily here we are talking about eating high <laughs> fat things sometimes, but um, it's a lean meat, high protein, uh, but I did mix in some 80 20 ground beef. For a okay. Little bit of extra fat. Okay. So, how, so does that make it grill up better? That'll. Or? I mean, fat is really good in cooking. It yeah. It's really hard to cook without fat. I'm always amazed that people can. Yeah. Have these diets where they. I mean, I know that we're going to sauté these vegetables in a little bit of broth, but. Yeah. Um, but you do need fat because fat is flavor, and your body can't function if you don't have any fat. Right. And so I'm, you know, a bison burger on its own would be fine, but I think having a little bit more fat from the beef will add. A little bit of flavor and texture to it. So. Yay fat! Yay fat! <laughs> and I got cheese, and we have avocados. <laughs> avocados my are favorite some of my burger day. toppings. All right. I almost thought about uh, making guacamole to put on the burgers. Oh but yum! 